GCSE Maths is commonly referred to as the worst of them all. In fact, it often ranks top spot in the list of least favourite school subject. Students dislike maths because we think it is dull. We don't get excited about numbers and formulas, the way we get excited about science or history, or other subjects that are easier to personally connect to. We see maths as abstract, and irrelevant figures that are difficult to understand, yet we are forced to take exams at the mere age of 16 to test our knowledge and understanding of the very thing we despise. Is there a solution to this predicament that so many students find themselves entangled in? The answer is yes. Hi friends, welcome back to this video where today I'll be taking you through the single best website to smash your GCSE mathematics. Quick disclaimer before we start, this video will hopefully apply to anyone studying GCSE mathematics at any level because I know what those people are going to say, I love maths, I do A-level maths, A-level further maths, A-level physics, I really enjoy the subject so obviously I'm going to find a website that teaches you maths useful. What I just want to say is that in secondary school my whole friendship group use this website to improve their maths and hopefully improve their GCSE grade in mathematics. Whether we were aiming for a grade 9 or a grade 4, it didn't matter. So that's my quick disclaimer that this video will apply to you no matter what grade you are aiming for in GCSE maths. So without much more dramatic build up, let me reveal to you the name of this holy grail of GCSE maths website and that is Maths Genie. <laughs> of course there's going to be a link in the description to this website. And there's two main parts to this website which make it so fantastic. The first reason why I think this website is so amazing is the stratification of grades. As you can see here, the revision section of the website is laid out in different grades, um, ranging from a grade 9 to a grade 1, and there's different topics within these grades. And this is so helpful for two main reasons. Firstly, it helps you clearly see what you need to be able to understand and answer questions about to achieve your goal, whatever you're aiming for, in GCSE Maths. So for example, if you're aiming for a grade 6, you know that if you master everything from the grade 1 section to the grade 6 section, then there's a really good chance that you'll be able to achieve that grade 6. Similarly, if you're aiming for a grade 9, you know if you can master every single section on this course and answer the questions accurately, then you've put yourself in really good stead to achieve that grade 9. And the second reason why I think this justification of grades is just so great is that it makes the revision process so much more manageable. So when you're doing a big GCSE like maths or sciences or English, when you look at the subject content or the specification, it can seem really, really daunting because there's so many things you need to know going into that exam. But by this website splitting it up into these different grades and then within them grades different subjects and topics, it makes you clearly see what you need to know and hopefully it makes it easier to manage your revision and preparation. So as I just said, each grade is split up into different topics and if you master these topics, then that supposedly correlates to that grade. Obviously this may not always be the case, you know, what type of questions come up that year, the knowledge of prior topics, for example, if you know all the grade 6 stuff but you don't know any of the grade 5 stuff, chances are you struggle to achieve that grade 6. But by splitting up into these grades, these topics just give you a bit of knowledge about the level this topic is hovering about. But obviously the addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, that's hovering at a grade 1 or grade 2. Circle theorem stuff is hovering more at a 7, 8 and 9 grade, stuff like this. So it's just quite a helpful way of seeing the difficulty of each topic. So yeah, definitely use this part of the website. So going a bit further, obviously you have your grade and then you have your topics. And within each of these topics, there are three sections. So you have exam questions and exam booklet and then written solutions to the exam booklet. So the exam questions part, as you can see here, is basically just a list of different exam questions that have been plucked out from past papers relating to this topic. So it's really quick and easy to go through this section. Unfortunately, there's not a mark scheme for this section, but you can usually check things like this on your calculator. And then the exam booklet is a selection of questions that will draw in all relevant knowledge for the topic, along with marks that indicate how long you should be spending on each question. For example, you're not going to spend as much time on this two-mark question here as you are on this five-mark question here. Each exam booklet has around eight to ten questions in the booklet that make it much more manageable. So it's not like it's going to take you an hour to complete one exam booklet, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, just depending on how fast you're working. And you won't burn out because you can move on to other stuff quickly, which is really, really useful. And the third section is solutions to this exam booklet. And these solutions are not just the mark scheme. Instead, these are handwritten solutions that clearly show the method and are much easier to follow along with than the mark scheme. Maths Genie's written solutions, you can clearly follow the steps that the person has taken and you can clearly see where you made your mistake or what you should have done differently. So yeah, that's the first reason why this website is so great. 
It's this whole stratification of grades and how they split it up into different exam questions, exam booklets, written solutions to these booklets. It makes the revision and preparation process so much easier, more manageable, and you can just clearly see what you can work towards, which makes it more motivating as well. So yeah, this section really helped me out. When in year 11, I had completed every single exam booklet from the grade nine and grade eight section, and it just put me in really good stead going into my mocks at the time. And the second reason why Mastrini is such a great website is the past paper resource it has available. All right, so you can see it has the past papers for the three main exam boards, that is OCR, AQA, and LXL. So as you can see, it has a very large selection of past papers available, so you definitely won't run out anytime soon. Not only is it great that these past papers are all in one place and you can easily access them, it is what Mastrini provides to correct and mark these past papers that makes it so great. There are three tools that can be used when marking and correcting or when you're just stuck and they are the mark scheme, the written solutions and the videos. First of the mark scheme, this is pretty standard. This is useful to see where you pick up the marks from. So because you'll have like an A1 or an M1 or a B1, this shows you where you get the accuracy, the working, the method marks from. It can be helpful when marking a question that you're already comfortable on. And it can actually be useful to show you what needs to be on the paper for you to pick up the marks. Obviously, section two is the written solutions, as I mentioned previously. And like I said before, these are really helpful when you're stuck or don't know what to do and you want to clearly see a method. And section three are the video solutions, and these are amazing. It is these video solutions that makes this website so great and it's why I recommend it so much. So these can be used if you looked at the mark scheme and the written solutions and the solution or answer still doesn't make sense. So what these video solutions are is they literally go through the whole past paper, they go through each question in the past paper and they show you how they got the answers to the questions. And they do this really clearly step by step. So it's really easy to follow. I mean, the fact that these videos are an hour long shows how much detail and explanation they put into these answers when making the videos. And especially if you're more of a visual learner, you have to see someone do something and explain it as they're doing it. These video solutions are amazing and they have them for every single past paper. So yeah, that kind of concludes this short video. I hope you found it useful and informative. So please go and check out Maths Genie if you are studying for GCSE Maths or you are going to be studying for GCSE Maths in the near future. Similarly, if you're struggling with GCSE Physics or you're looking to boost your grade, check out this video here, which entails me outlining my six main tips to smash your GCSE Physics exam and help you achieve a grade nine like I did. If not, no worries. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next Saturday.